All right, what's up, guys? Uh, I just want to give you a little update of what's been going on lately on the car. I haven't filmed at all. Now that we're getting a lot closer to the end, obviously I still have a ton to do and not very much time. But with the new year, I'm going to try and really bring back the vlogs. And once the car is done, I should have some more time to do that. So it's good for me. It's good for you guys. So it's, it's going to be good. But I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what's going on in the car, what's happened. There wasn't even much on the car in the last vlog. I know I'm still building a lot of stuff. So uh, I'm going to show you guys around a little bit and show you guys what we've gotten done last couple months, two months, month and a half, whatever. I really don't even know where the car was, so I'm just gonna talk about really everything. We had the headers built. A guy that does it for a living came down and built them for us. In one day, he pretty much had the whole exhaust done, headers, all the way out to the back of the car, so that was pretty cool. So those are all high temp ceramic coated um, to help keep off of things around it. Got the diff in. Um, in where it's going to stay, um, that's, that thing's kind of a bear to get in and out. It worked out. We got everything mounted. Everything's good. Um, winch is in, siren's in. We ended up having to mount the alternator backwards. Um, there was no room. Everyone's like, why didn't you just mount it to the motor? Well, this is why. We needed a steering shaft right there. Um, and we couldn't bring it high enough up because there's just a lot of other stuff going on, so... We ended up just mounting it off of the chassis and with everything solid mounted, the whole motor solid mounted, um, you can kind of see the motor mount right here and there's a motor plate in the back and another motor mount right here. You can see this one a little better. Um, it just had to work out like that. So I think it'll be good. Um, nothing's really going to move. Steering setup, we had all this bracketry made. Um, nice wrap on the steering pump. It's all good. Steering linkage is good. It's all super, super tight, but it all works. Engine got dynoed. It was around 770, I believe. So good power out of it. Once KOH is over, we might go back in, put a new intake manifold on it. KOH, you really don't need that much power, um, but the short course stuff you need as much as you can get short course and desert stuff so we might go back it just depends on how the car is if the car is super snappy then we might not need to do that at all but it just depends on how it is Darren luckily I've been having his help the last couple weeks so that's been helping a ton because he's really good at certain things and I'm really good at certain things so between the two of us we're able to knock some stuff out really quick so Donnie from American Wiring Harness came and made us a super nice wiring harness I mean, as you can see, everything's labeled. Um, literally down to every single wire, like that's oil pressure. Injector number three, like there's just every single wire is labeled, so you know exactly what everything is. And uh, unfortunately for Gunner, we ended up having to mount the oil reservoir in the car. Um, it was originally gonna go right here. Um, we couldn't do that with the exhaust. The exhaust needed to go right there, so Sorry in advance gunner on the inside of the car Rugged communications all the way throughout the car um, We've been using their stuff for years and totally love it. So Motec everything Motec Motec ECU Motec PDMs um, Lawrence GPS is and then I whipped up this um, throttle bracket, hold the cable and everything, mount the pedal, so if you unbolt that from the floor, the whole thing comes out with the cable, pedal, everything, so that's kind of cool. Just get it out of the way, um, but not have to disconnect all the cables. I think tranny lines and rear diff lines are the only thing, I know all the oil lines are done, steering lines are done. Most of the breathers are done. I'm working on the uh, gas tank breather right now, the vent tube. I just cut all the uh, gas tank fill tubes. Mounted all that up, made some nice miter, aluminum miter pieces. So, weld those up in the morning. Um, finish some of the stuff in the back. Finish the radiator mount, that's all done. Got our GPS antennas mounted, backup camera, rear light bar, overflow bottles, T case overflow bottle, tranny overflow bottle, radiator overflow bottle, master kill. I mean everything's everything's good. So on this guy we're actually running a 930 CV on the diff side of the drive shaft. So 
Um, got the rear diff. I'm gonna throw that in tomorrow, probably. Um, got our Griffin radiator mount all done. What else? Odyssey batteries, battery box. Rockstar Garage made us the battery box. Fire suppression. So I gotta plumb that too. ARB for the front diff. Rear diff is spool, so we don't need that for the rear diff. Um, we got our rear diff oil pump right here. So radio lines are done. Fuel lines are almost done. Fuel lines are halfway done. I'm working on the gas tank vent right now. All the sheet metal's done. It's all meshed. And then we got a couple more parts on the way tomorrow. I think wind nets are showing up tomorrow. A couple misalignment spacers we need are showing up tomorrow. UHMW for the skid plates is showing up tomorrow. So we still got some parts on the way. Nothing that's really holding us up, but. I mean, overall, I'm really happy with how the car's coming. Um, I think it's gonna be really nice when it's done. And not only is it gonna be nice, it's gonna perform. So. Getting uh, everything done, drive shafts all done, vent lines. Bro, say hi. Bro. Super sickening. Oh. All the vents are labeled. Then fuel vent right there. All right, so today we're wrapping up the TK Sport. I started last night. Um, get the air filter all dialed in. Darren's working on brake lines uh, today, so I think he finished the front last night and hopefully he's gonna get the rear done today to bleed the brake. Radiator's all ready to fill. Um, I got the TK shifters all finished uh, a day or two ago. Uh, we got our brake shut offs right here, so those are gonna be nice um, to have easy access. All right, so Nick and I are fitting the hood right now. Um, we're making some last changes. Got to make a couple more welds on it. Run them down, flush them out, and then uh, the wrap guys are coming in a couple hours, so we got to make sure this thing's ready to go. And yeah, moving along with the day, so um, we'll film more in a little bit. Uh, working on the hood right now. Nick and I are getting the hood dialed because the wrap guys are coming in like an hour. Um, so we're just quickly putting it together, making sure it fits, take it back apart, finish a little bit more welding, tune it up. And then, yeah, we're almost ready to put fluids in this thing. So I'm getting excited. We're waiting on a couple sensors from Motec and a couple from GM. So fingers crossed that those come in by Thursday. Start the show, dogs. Get in.